All right, so my last video, I went over the fact that I uh, hunt small game with a pellet rifle. As you can see before you, this is the Benjamin Classic uh, 22 uh, pellet gun. Very, very nice, m nice pellet gun. Uh, just made a sling. I didn't find a sling that I liked, so I just made my own. I had some uh, clothesline, cotton clothesline, hanging around. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to try and make a sling. And it worked out. Up here, I didn't actually get the uh, attachment for it. I just tied it on, held it down with some electrical tape. Worst case scenario, I can use that electrical tape to start a fire, to make shelter, etc. It's also why I made it out of cordage. Extra cordage on your rifle, function as a sling also. Great idea. I'll be working on this system. I'll be trying to make one for my uh, other equipment. So, a little a few facts about this pellet gun. As I said, it's a Benjamin Classic uh, 22. Uh, muzzle velocity of 495 feet per second. Here in Canada, anything over 500 feet per second you need a firearms license for which classifies it as a firearm. This is not classified as a firearm. So a little loophole there. So if uh, someone says, here, give me your firearm, well, guess what? It's not a firearm. 495 feet per second. It's not classified as a firearm. Hence the reason why you can get it without a license. Now, scope. You see there, it's a center point 3 by 9 by 40 It's a illuminated crosshairs through here. It can go green. And it can go red. Extremely nice uh, scope. Came with the uh, pellet rifle. I actually bought this from my local Canadian Tire. Extremely impressed with the, uh, the hitting power on this. Extremely impressed. Varmint, not a problem. Not a problem. Anyways, trigger. It's got a metal uh, trigger guard. Safety is right here. First of all, this is unloaded. Uh, you cannot store a uh, air rifle with a round in the chamber. It will actually blow up the chamber. So don't worry, this is unloaded. Okay, uh, the only, my only problem with this pellet gun, honestly, and I'll be trying to find another one that they make, uh, but it has no, no sights other than the scope. So this breaks, <laughs> guess what? Now you're using a musket style um, and good luck hitting anything with that. Um, yeah, as you can see here, 22 my uh my pellet run pellet gun runs uh best off of uh crossman ammunition the uh hollow points are great the pointed pellets are great the dome pellets however uh extremely well uh with taking out birds hollow points the hollow point ones i find are better for taking out uh squirrels and rabbits. Uh, they also make one, I think it's called the Crossman Destroyer. It's uh, essentially, it's a hollow point with a pointed pellet inside of it. Um, kind of like if you picture a sable round for a tank, it's essentially what it is before a pellet gun. Um, and the rest of the casing does not fall away. So it makes a nice hole. Let's put it that way. Um, great for rabbits, etc animals of that nature okay um yeah so i've used this pellet gun out to around 50 yards it is a uh, comfortable shot anything after that you're really adjusting and playing with the sight or the scope sorry and uh i the way i have it set up right now it's for close close range 
like 25, 30 yards at most. Um, this is essentially my, um, out tramping in the woods and I got a little bit of food with me, but I want to take, I want to see if I can take some game, some, uh, squirrels, some birds, chipmunks, etc. uh, to help supplement my calories. Okay. This highly recommend it. Uh, I do have another one. I actually have a few more. But the two I can name off the top of my head right now is the Hatson Mod 45. It's got a pistol grip. I'll eventually be making a video on it. It's 177. And I have the Crossman Optimus in 177 as well. Both of which are 495 feet per second. The Crossman Optimus is my next video uh, in this field of pellet guns. The Crossman Optimus is an amazing pellet gun, and I'm really looking forward to that video because I was extremely impressed with the quality for the price point. I got it on sale for about 120 bucks Canadian, which was an extremely good price. This one, as you see before you, is about, if I remember correctly, about 380 Canadian. So substantially more. And honestly, I think the Crossman Optimus might have more hitting power at a uh, certain game. I, it could also be the fact that I only shoot destroyer pellets out of that. But I'll go over that in another video. So this is my my uh, Benjamin Classic 22. Uh, before I go, it's got great uh, grip here and here. It's actually etched into the wood. This is a full wood stock, raised cheek piece. Don't really need this. It's a shock absorber, but it's a pellet gun. It's a pup gun. It's not going to break your shoulder. There's no recoil at all. Okay. Uh, Maintenance-wise for pellet guns. Uh, I don't know if any of you have maintained a pellet gun. A lot of the people I know who have pellet guns just kind of sort of throw them in a the corner, leave them outside, let them rot out, let them rust, and then think they're still good fire. No, you can't do that. Always treat a pellet gun like it is a firearm because I've had one of these explode in my face. Somebody had told me that they maintained it. I verified it looked maintained. This is before I knew anything about maintaining them. After that incident, I'm very strict with maintaining them. This is the chamber that all the air is compressed in. If you do not maintain it, this will blow up in your face. I am lucky that it did not take out my eyes. Very lucky. Anyways, that's another rant for another time about maintenance of firearms, pellet guns, etc. Uh, yeah, so this is my 22. Extremely good quality. And see you next time. Ontario Preparedness Bushcraft out.